Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today Taurus is putting out another handgun. They have been on fire. For the last year and a half they have, I believe, met the needs and desires of their fans, the shooters out there. They have come out with so many in, in a wide variety. If we think back, when Taurus came out with the GX4, people were very excited. Small, subcompact, 9mm handgun with 11 and 13 round mags, 3 inch barrel. They changed the trigger from the G3C or the G3 models with a flat trigger, trigger bar safety in there. People would even pocket carry this and many shooters were, were excited and they told me, hey, I carry the GX4. And then in the winter, right before SHOT Show, they, they took their very popular G3C and removed the thumb safety. And I know many people have their opinions, some like the thumb safety some do not but now they have the choice with the g3c that same day they came out with the g3x with 15 round mags the 17 round mag will work in there too with the longer grip but the same upper and that was in january but in february they came out with the g3 xl all right with the four inch barrel same lower four inch barrel here we have the G3C, and you can see the difference there. And a lot of people told me, hey, I'm getting that. I like the idea of a longer barrel. The 4-inch barrel compared to the 3.2-inch barrel with the G3C. In May of 2022, this one really got me going, the G3 Tactical. And I called it at the time, Taurus's finest semi-auto handgun. Shall I say most versatile? You know, it just, it looks cool. It offers a lot. I was excited, but today they're doing it again. Now, what did they come up with? Well, let's take a look because I think this is going to excite a lot of people. What we have in this case is a Taurus GX4 XL. And there it is. Now, you take a look at it, and we look at the GX4, we can see that Taurus extended the barrel. 3-inch barrel with the original GX4, 3.7-inch barrel with the GX4 XL. And if we look at the barrel length, we'll see that it's similar to the G3 XL with the G3C. About an inch longer, 3.7-inch barrel. And if you go with this... It has a 13 round mag and 11 round mag additional back strap. GX4 keychain right there. Paperwork and everything else that you don't need to hear me talk about. But here it is. Now, why a GX4 XL? Well, people like the longer barrel for velocity. They like the longer barrel for accuracy. And you're going to get that with a longer barrel across the board. Typically, you know, and so they they have the same mag capacity as the GX4. It is available with this 13 rounds, 11 rounds there with a flat base plate there, and 10 round mags for those who are in restricted states. This here mimics the GX4 except for a little bit longer. It has very nice grip texturing, feels good on the hand with this 13 round mag. You get three finger contact. Forward serrations, does have a sight hole indicate, indicator there. Pinned in front sight, serrated black adjustable rear sight. Neat looking trigger guard there, kind of hits that 90 degree angle. You can see it has that hole right on the dust cover there. Okay, you want to remove the front sight. But they did a nice job, and they kept the same trigger. Now I measure this trigger right at five and a quarter pounds same as the original gx4 so if we check out the gx4 xl we'll see it is unloaded flat trigger nice crisp break five and a quarter pounds with a reset there so if you love the trigger with the gx4 you're going to love the trigger with the gx4 xl same disassemble does not have a thumb safety and it is also available in the Toro models, Taurus Optic Ready option. So the MSRP on this is 459. No, 429. Correction, 429. If you go with the Toro model, it's 
$59, only $30 more for the Toro model. This clearly is not Taurus optic ready option, but those are available as well. I took it to the range on several occasions. Let's go ahead and check some of those shooting footages out. Did the GX4 XL pass the Limpress test? Well, we're gonna find out shortly. Now, the Taurus handguns have done very well with the Limpress test, all right? Real limp wrist, all right? Shoot under weird conditions. Perhaps you're not getting a firm grasp of your, your pistol for whatever reason. And I test that for reliability. Let's see how the GX4 XL did with the Limpress test. Let's see if the GX4 will charge itself on a loaded mag, and it does. How about a Limpress test? The GX4 XL, it passed the Lipris test. Oh, here we have the 13 round mag. We'll just keep it in there. One pound, four and seven eighths ounces. We look at just ounces, 20 and seven eighths ounces. But here are 13 rounds. And then we'll put the carry round in there. 26, and it's falling off the scale. 26 and three quarters ounces. So just for fun, let's go ahead and put the GX4, let's put that 13 round mag in. All right, what do we say? 26 and three quarters ounces. There we have 19 and a half ounces. Here are 13 rounds, 24 and seven eighths. So a little less than two additional ounces with the GX4 XL. So there it is, a new handgun that Taurus is putting out today, MSRP 429 for the GX4 XL. If you recall, the GX4 has an MSRP of 392, so it's not that great of a difference. And if you go with the Toro model, it's 30 bucks more. So uh, perhaps I should have done that. But they are meeting the needs of their fan base and people are really believing in Taurus. They say the G3 line, now the G4 line, is, is getting it done at the range. I put several rounds through this and I had no problems whatsoever. So they're, they're doing a great job putting out firearms, meeting the needs of and the desires of their shooters and making people happy with budget prices. And they keep this trend up. I think that we're gonna see a lot more Tauruses on people's hips and competitions and just having fun at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. And share, I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.